Hi, today is July 25th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1198 for the year, Vegan Victoria Sponge Cake. In Glasgow, I had Victoria Sponge Cake for the first time. It looked so decadent, but it was vegan, which is often the only question I ask. Before I ordered it, I took a picture of the cake and showed it to Tracy and my daughter, and I think I said something like, Can I really order this insane thing? I want to, but can I? Will I? Well, I did, and it was fucking amazing. Then yesterday, I was looking through my recent photos and deleting shit, and I deleted the photo I took of the vegan Victoria sponge cake, and then I was like, oh no, I could have used that picture tomorrow and written a poem called Vegan Victoria Sponge Cake. I mean, that really has a lovely ring to it. I was really bummed. Poem number 1199, Imitation Vegan Victoria Sponge Cake. Moments after I deleted the photo of the vegan Victoria sponge cake, I googled vegan Victoria sponge cake, thinking I could just grab a picture off the internet, but none of the pictures looked right. They all had those blurred backgrounds to make a picture look all professional and shit, and the whole thing just didn't feel right. So I metaphorically went to the Kiev and ate breakfast, by which I mean I put the problem aside for a while. Then as I was walking down 12th Street to go to the open mic at the Roost, I saw a sign with a picture of a cake on it, and fuck me if that cake didn't look an awful lot like the vegan Victoria sponge cake that I ate in Glasgow that one time like 10 or day, 10 days ago or so. So I took a picture of it, and then I thought, this cake isn't even vegan. Am I really going to try to pass this off as a picture of a cake that I recently ate? And then I thought, no, I will come clean about the origin of the picture of the cake. So let me come clean and say that the cake in the only picture I have of anything resembling a vegan Victoria sponge cake is not only not of a Victoria sponge cake, it's not even vegan. It's an imitation vegan Victoria sponge cake, and I am only moderately ashamed. Poem number 1200, Secret New York Underground for Roger Armbrust, who may not want it. Is it profane profundity? Is, or is it profound profanity? Or is it insane redundancy? Or is it redundant insanity? Why does it have to be anything? Why must it have definition? Why must it be what it is or it isn't? Why must I make a decision? Cockles and cunnies and cunnies and cocks, the strength of the bunnies with muscles like rocks. Cockles and cunnies and bagels and locks, the dove fucks the soldier, the chicken, the fox. Poem number 1201, The Dirt. The dirt liked being so very dirty, and the dirt liked when its dirtiness was pointed out to it. The dirt would beam and get warm inside whenever anyone would say to the dirt, You are filthy. You are really dirty, dirt. The dirt didn't mind that some people were disgusted by the dirt's dirtiness. It comes with the territory, the dirt would say, and then the dirt would often add, and let me tell you, there is nothing like coming with the territory. No one was entirely sure what the dirt meant by this, but everyone was convinced that it was dirty. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1202, The Mouth and the Hole. The mouth and the hole loved spending time together. The mouth always knew how to make the hole feel good and would do so whenever schedules allowed. And the hole always made the mouth feel useful and adept, which, in fact, the mouth was. Sometimes the fingers got in the way, and sometimes they were a welcome addition. And sometimes the fingers stayed out of the way and let the mouth do what the mouth did. One of the mouth's favorite things to do was to get as close to the hole as possible without actually touching, and then whisper with the faintest of breaths, You're so beautiful, hole. This often caused the hole to melt a little, at which point the hole would happily lap up the hole's little, at which point the mouth would happily lap up the hole's little droplets. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little distracted. I think I had better do something else now. All right, that's it. Those are the poems for the day. Sorry I messed up that last one. I wrote whole when I should have written mouth. Uh, but I appreciate you. I do. I appreciate you.